Oh, Bravo 6 going dark. They're going right in, and that's going to completely overrun the half. Zithiox going full auto, and he's going to get another one. Mustafa goes down as well. He is charging. Goes full auto, because it's about to open up. Slowly push up, keep the numbers. Good little bunny hop grenade that might get Faux Hammer and Poo Poo, and it does! Well, I can't believe I even said those words. Hey guys, Moidog here, and continuing on with our best of 2023 series, we have the top 10 infantry battles from this year. And as you can see from the length of this video, we've got some good ones. Since infantry battles are a bit more than just a little shootout, I really searched through all of the Eye in the Sky episodes to find sustained infantry firefights that erupted into battles. And these ones were by far and away the best. From individual plays, squad leader strategy, or just straight up infantry grinding, this compilation has it all, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and please do make sure to subscribe if you want more. We hit over 200,000 subscribers this year and it's because of all y'all support that i'm able to keep making this type of content so thank you again and please enjoy the video so right now this uh hourglass figure in the center of your screen that is the russian radio for the fob just north of this kind of main defensive fob so right now uh we have the eastern side we see berm being chilling sam crow and jay they're all pushing this eastern side, and I think they might have almost proxied the hab. So the hab just ahead of us here in the compound. If they're able to get a little bit closer, Russians will lose their spawn, and the Aussies can start to flip the script here as we see mortars uh, pounding uh, that slum fob off in the distance. But you can't focus on anything else right now. Squad five and them, you, you don't want to worry about this fob that you think is an objective right now. You need to go all in on rooting out the Russians in front because if the Russians hold on to this town, you're not going to be able to do anything. You, you can't push slums without first uh, securing uh, this section of the map. So we'll, we'll see if we can uh, get some good close quarters firefights as slowly but surely infantry are moving up in and Hab is now overrun because we now have, uh, looks like five infantry just south of the point, Code Jester on the other side here, and he's going to try to take a peek out and see who he's got. Bing chilling. Oh, is he going for the grenade? Oh, he's going for the smoke grenade, rather. And I think that is a... Oh, that is friendly. Diabetes is actually shooting at his buddies right now. Lodgy coming in. Ozzy Infantry, can they take him out? Xander goes flying. And, oh, they're going to run right into that 50 cal emplacement. And Pop goes to Lodgy. Sam Crow does go down to Code Jester. Bing chilling. Fiska and Jay are still nearby. The FOB might no longer. No, FOB is still overrun. So there's still 30 meters of distance. Medic. Three players within 30 meters will overrun this HAB. And Bing chilling and Sam Crow... Trying to get back up on their feet here. But Aussies, they need to keep up the pressure. This western side, you can also see uh, Ilya, um, Petri, Egichan, Volko Volkov. Uh, they're all starting to encircle this fob. Just keep up the pressure. And the Azlav is down south as well. You don't want to lose your Azlav. And you don't want to make this fob uh, have any, any second of breathing room. The moment infantry can spawn back in here, and this Aussie attack is pretty done so. AT goes into Iran, and that might just open up the door a bit. As here you go, Jay starts running right in. Co Jester on the other side. And now we're going to get some room clearing here. As infantry are starting to break into the compound. Oh, first couple shots missed. He didn't set himself properly. Russian goes to banish. Doesn't matter. And infantry are in the compound. Russian from the window. Tries to take a couple shots. 
Grub on the roof knocks out one. Oh, you actually have Co Jester. The Hab. Oh, the Hab. It's coming back online. What a last stand. Fast Bear, Co Jester, and Grub managed to wipe the Aussie squad. And Fast Bear coming out right now. We might have a huge spawn wave for the Russians. Oh, Berm, or Grim, rather, not able to uh, take a shot at Fast Bear. And this could be oh no 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 fiscus and bing are on the radio radios on bleed out grub going in he goes full auto you don't want to run out of ammo oh and he goes full auto and now you have co jester this is all in for the radio you need to win this Go oh, Jester out with his pistol. Tiger as well coming in. And Tiger needs to push this radio room. They're not doing it. Oh, Co Jester gets domed from the field. It's all up to the Tiger, but it looks like they're in. Oh, Hat misses. Oh, and Tiger kills his own buddy. It is absolutely falling apart. The Russians had it. And they have just managed to secure a uh, defeat from the jaws of victory radio will bleed out and Aussies are one radio to the good and because of that they're now going to be able to push out a little bit as more MGs open up just as that uh, that crows PMV now pushes deep inside of town. I'm gonna turn this on here, and oh my goodness, that yeah, that's that's getting a little hot. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is. Oh, it's just bodies, 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 dropping a load. <laughs> dropping a load. Really? All right. Oh my goodness, RPG frag round actually smacks one of his friendly insurgents. And that is going to be one of the most chaotic starts of the game ever. Oh, wait, hold on. Are they going to pull it off? Zithiox going full auto, and he's going to get another one. Mustafa goes down as well, and Brave Man is the only one up. And hold on a second. Zithiox getting tagged a little bit. <laughs> but this is actually, I believe this is a hab. Uh, it, 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 it is, it isn't, it is, it is just overrun, actually. Hold on a second, Zithiox, with the whoopsie daisy around the back and actually knocks out Brave Man from within the hab. Taunster now gets mopped up by an RPG and Zithiox just underneath, finally the PMV pops. And honestly, that is a hell of a run though rpgs grenades everything going off right now ksm mac on the roof knocks out zulu snake over on the red uh, over on the other ledge here and zithiox how is he still alive another rpg min arms and zithiox is going out the back and trying to get up to looks like king of kings 149 and we got joker jp on our right side What a chain of events and hold on a second. Zithiox might get another one here when he's watch his right side and hold on a second. He has a Carl Gustav as well. This man is a hat kid. That means he's been on iron sights this whole time. And there you go. Another one. Brave man respawns and gets mopped up again by Zithiox who's still on the ridge. King of Kings up as well. Titan goes down as well. <laughs> Zithiox is on like a 5-6 kill streak right now. And now he's going for the revive. Taunter. Hold on a second. Need to double check because I believe he is the medic. Uh, he is the medic. And hold on a second. We also have an Urban South cap in progress. Unbelievable. The Aussies pulling off the almost impossible here. A bureaucrat is up, dropping smoke. Taunter as well, dropping smoke. Owned, going up, and he's going to be caught with this. <laughs> caught with this smoke grenade in his hand, but the grenade pops off and knocks out two. 
Taunter had just been picked up by uh, Zithiox due to the uh, respawn mechanic. So if you actually get revived, you have 60 seconds unless you are fully healed, where if you get killed again, you are then dead dead. So Taunter goes down and dead dead. Zithiox somehow misses the grenade and well he has no more bandages but that doesn't matter hold on a second we're about to get a potential big respawn on the south side of the point and there it is that's not a big respawn but it might be just enough to do oh here we go another couple more in four insurgents now spawning in on the south side of urban south zithiox going to lay prone one goes down zithiox finally goes down what a few minutes by Zithiox, and he might be the reason we're gonna turn on this dome, or I guess it's a, is it a pill? A pill shape? This pill shaped cap is, oh, it is gonna start evening out. That respawn was well-timed, and honestly, the moment Zithiox goes down, it looks like the Aussies as a whole are gonna be pushed back, the one-man army is now going to uh, try to maybe respawn and get back in the action, but th this might be part of the reason why we're having a bit of an issue on the first point, because on off on the, yeah, just you hear bureaucrat saying we need more people on the point. Uh, the right side, this is what we saw as the east side of the objective, this nice hill. It is not uncommon, as you see, you have this insurgent hab here, that nice little shanty shack. Not uncommon for insurgents to get a nice little hilltop fob because it overwatches main, overwatches this nice uh, road, and you got good elevation onto the objective. However, if you're going to have an entire infantry squad tied up and you don't have this first point locked down, eh, you might be hurting yourself here. We'll have to see. I mean, insurgents are still getting pushed back. It might be just aggressive enough by the Aussies on the point that we're not going to have to worry about it, but we'll... It, it always makes me nervous on these first point pushes, but Zithiox and crew might have been able to do it. And let's try to see. That is just so many. I mean, right behind the walls there, right? Stand by here. Don't get killed. Trying to play peekaboo. On the ridge line here. And honestly, the Aussies have one of the best infantry kits in the game. Optics are very, very powerful. And now we have uh, about 20% to cap for Urban South. And we're going to take a look from the high ground here because you can see just block by block. Now, Aussies are starting to enclose. And there you go. Now you've got. Uh, bottom side whiskers come around the south side of the hab taco sunday pushing through the north and it's just rx bx rt thomas cow and smelly cat on the roof foghorn off to our front or i guess top right of your screen right now bailing out of the hab but that is going to be an overrun insurgent position rx bx rt about to take a peek at Captain D's nuts. Taco Sunday, Andy's nuts goes down. Hold on a second, that's a two-piece. Reshi now getting ready to push up and hold on a second. Whiskers, I thought, was gonna knock him out. He actually sees the radio, though. He's sitting on the radio. Get him locally. He's sitting on the radio. You can hear those local comms. Radio is gonna be marked, but that hab is gonna be overrun because you don't just have Reshi nearby but you have ammo laying prone you also have what is it uh avalon as well so enough aussie infantry to there you go secure yeah, urban that. south and 219 tickets to 710 what an absolute blitz of our first point rush this is how you got to do it especially if you don't have any big vehicles uh insurgents are always going to be a little bit behind since they have to bring up so many vehicles and logistics to defend. Command trying to figure out where exactly they want to go. Ooh, Mr. Oakley Doakley, that's a fantastic little vault. And no, he beaks just enough. Nice. I thought he was going to get distracted on the left side, but... He goes to take a right, and 
it looked like our ex was actually starting to dig it down himself. You can see a little bit of that second stage radio. So he was trying to get into position to save 20 tickets. And I think I, I heard earlier. Uh, yep. Aussies are digging down their own radio as well. Very, very smart. So that way you don't lose 20 tickets because you're already down to 200 tickets. King Sax is going to get blasted from his right side and not even realize what hit him. Oh, are they going? Oh, Bravo 6 going dark. They're going right in, and that's going to completely overrun the Hab. Egg as Gramor is going to be up in the outpost, and they're going to see him. Darrow the Reaper goes up, and he's jumping, jumping, jumping. Guys, are losing he? Lower Orchard. And he goes for the knife. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else can you say, right? A uh, squad eight with the massive flank taking out the hab, uh, overrun immediately, and it's already down to 20% neutral. Uh, Russia thought they were in this game, I mean, at, at least contesting it. 242 tickets to 209. I mean, they've been winning the firefights. On Orchard real quick. Just a few. And Wilk, the command, decides to do some danger close mortars on Zulu here. And Zulu knocks out Rude, kills one. And mortars are going to go down. And Carnage now goes down. Russia might be saved with a nice little push by Zulu. Uh, you now have Flick, Darrow the Reaper. And unbelievable. I mean, this is just fantastic work here. You have uh, Stinky Banks. He's been laying down, holding the flank, and he just absolutely destroyed Chop Rizzle and his buddy coming around the backside. And now you have Grim Reaper. Did they actually just bring up a Lodgy? They did. King Stacks, Ego 17, and Saint center they're the ones that have to save this right now and you have daryl the reaper drops the radio and this might flip it flick knocking out both of the russians coming in and now you have uh ego laying down and this is oh hold on a second it is contested kaiser jumping up and trying to get one daryl knocks out kaiser and there's a hab right here. They're calling. They're like, wait a second. That's a that's an American hab. And hold on, hold on a second. This might have gone from the biggest of brains to the smallest of brains. Uh, Russia might not only just get the the wipe here of Grim Reaper and his squad, but they also might get the Logi kill and the radio kill. Be a huge 28 plus ticket uh, wipe if they're able to do it with the infantry but i mean it's still uh, lore orchard is no it's it's not over till it's over dago is absolutely showing is he gonna draw oh no that's not your hab buddy oh buddy that's not your hab so. <laughs> oh no Dego thinks he's in his own hab, goes to drag him Out backwards, us, and Darrow the Reaper lives up to his name. Uh, Lower Good. Orchard, 20% to neutral. Hundo and yeah. Benny Boy trying to flow back. Squad 2 uh, is still stuck on that southeast side. Well, Squad 8 looks like they're doing just enough to keep it up. Hundog and Chino... They're so loud. You got Rude, Carnage, and Fantastics. Yeah, they're taking something up in here. Arrow the Reaper, and he might get himself killed. Stop. No way, Hundo! Oh, that's on my body, on my body. In the corner. Hundo trades! Throw a frag in here, throw a frag in here. He's dead. And he Flick. Oh, wait, no, the Hab is in there, so that was the Russian Hab. Flick. I mean, this is. I have a thing. This is the. It might be okay for this situation, but this hab is usually not one of the ones you want to see. This that was the Russian hab. Yeah, they got enemy radio and hab up. It's up now. All right, I'm gonna drop and orders on that. 199 tickets, but there's not enough uh, Americans to continue the cap. Toxic Taco coming in with his uh, remote weapon system, Tiger. He might be popping this 
Lodgy, but mortars are now going to be landing in. He's going to... Yep, there you go. Remote weapon system should light up the Lodgy. No, doesn't just yet. And now you have Americans are spawning in on Lore Arch Orchard. The cap is going to go neutral. Squad 8 with the play of the game so far. As Russia loses an objective that they were not even thinking where they were going to have, have any trouble uh, holding on to. Um, and now, I mean, look at how many Americans are spawning in. The Hab is very close to being overrun, though. You got Squad 8. I mean, the, the radio, this is the radio uh, for Russia. They, the Americans have not found it just yet. Beef stew is good. Come around the corner. You got Toxic Taco still in the back. Hereditor, Arminator. I mean, Wilk, these mortars are fantastic. If they can just keep the mortars up as Toxic Taco takes an AT4 into the uh, the backside of his Tiger. If they just keep these mortars up, I, I mean, they're, they're in business. Wilk needs to keep it up. And this is also the Hab is going to be overrun as we see all of the Russians start to push in from the west side. Darrow the Reaper trying to peek. And, oh, they're smoking. I like it. Going to cause a whole bunch of issues for these Americans. And a little shake and bake the smoke in HE. And there you go. Toxic Taco also dropping some smoke. Knocks out Darrow the Reaper. And swapping back to HE. Those are landing right on the hab. I, I hope Command gets some confirmation because these look beautiful I mean, they're exactly where you need to be and we're going to see Darby now come around the back side and the Americans have gotten themselves stuck up in a horrible situation uh, long flick rude all stuck in a just a, a mortar blob can you guys wait for still got mortars in the air and mortars have nearly taken out the hab, but I think Flick and Long, yeah, you can see them, they're shoveling. Trying to shovel that hab. Burst fire goes off. Jake Paul fan might get himself flanked, and he does. Jake Paul and Rude go down to the PKP, and you got M... I was going to say, you got MG just going full auto, and, and Long... Oh, there you go. Long goes down. And now you have Flick as the last one up on the back side. And he trades. Unbelievable. What a fantastic comeback. And this is... Yep, it's going to go back up. Russia has re-secured Lower Orchard. Upper Orchard? Orchard. Lower, lower Orchard. Orchard. <laughs> the Orchard that is now in Russian control, whether it's high or low, doesn't matter. It is now all blue. And they are going to get... That infantry kill, so uh, pl what, 9, 10, 11, 12 tickets from infantry, plus the Lodge they just destroyed, and now the radio, 179 tickets to 130. The U.S. trying to go all in on a very massively cheeky radio play, and it might do them in. This is Death Road. It was Death Road, but they chose to go over Death Road, and now the Matt V is going to go right into it. Matt V. Gunner dead immediately. And we'll turn on our outline so we can see it. We're halfway done with residents. Rummy goes. Cloak, cloak actually knocks out Toxic. Hey, Doxon. Sylvanus in the middle of the road. Egg as well. This little ambush is happening while this is happening as well. Not, and this is exactly what we are looking for with the infantry combat overhaul. It's going to be a massive grind and slog through this little urban area on the south side of Logar. Silent Striker. Oh, there you go. You see this uh, Samir from behind is actually unloading on his friendlies. There's a lot of infantry out here right now. And they're, they're just right across the street from each other. Silent Striker. DM, iron, just in front of us. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is just so close quarters. Lodge is getting popped. Infantry have dismounted. You can see the radio right behind them as well. That's that hourglass shape. Oh, and here you go. Now you have the saw from up in the cliffside raining down onto the town. 
And this is going to be very difficult to deal with. But look at this ambush from earlier. The ambush in the middle of the road. Egg is still alive. Finally goes down. This is what we're talking about. The infantry combat overhaul making it just so difficult to just outright win firefights. You need to continue with your positioning, get support, and there you go. Although the, in the infantry were ambushed for the U.S., able to win that fight on the road and get the high ground shooting down into the blocks here. And here you go. Oh my goodness, what a grenade. Deep fake uh, decisions and Bozo go down. And both sides just hard trading. Lost about uh, maybe 80% of their squad in that firefight. 213 tickets to 214. Uh, Nomad camp being secured by squad four. But this is... This is the issue. Oh, once again, if you guys haven't, uh, you played maybe a lot of random advanced and secure, RAS. Since it is AAS, everybody knows what the objectives are. Everybody's aware that Actar's compound and lower DC, the, they, we know that's these are the up, points. And that's why we got such a big, big uh, firefight in the middle. This, uh, this, well, this is a giant square cube. Rectang is it a rectangular prism if it's like this? It kind of looks like a cube, yeah? We need people spawning on this. This cube is this is a ginormous capture area for lower dc and you can see there is a hab in this mosque for uh the us they're spawning in they're actually a few spawning on the roof it looks like oh no they're they're down below uh but they have a a, a hab right on the objective and so does mea but look this is the mea hab right there and if you notice right across the street this is the us hab because so many people just spawned in they immediately had nine players within 90 meters, so that MEA FOB is actually overrun, and U.S. might be able to grind this out. Let's look on the south side here real quick. Matt V holding this Alaji Squad 8. They're actually trying to get around, but it is all going to be on lower DC. Nomad Camp is secured. Lower DC is the fight, and I'm going to take away some names so it's a little less cluttered. We can see how the infantry try to move around now. It's just, it's such a grind. Black pudding, like, is it sweet? Black pudding, is it sweet? I don't know what they're talking about here in local, but it's not fire and move. And hold on a second. Who do we have here? Giga. About to be a Giga Chad if he finds this radio. He's got a Lodgy in front of him. He has to hear this radio. Everybody needs to keep pushing west. Oh, he hears it. it here's the Lodgy, but I'm not sure if he hears the radio. And infantry are trying to push across the road while you have... This is actually a really good position. Nikki butts. A 50 cal in the past, you just be absolutely lasered headshot immediately, but he's holding this intersection with that 50 cal, and that is very, very uh, crucial. Spawns under siege here. Spawns under siege because you have enough infantry nearby. You have a handful north. Good grenades. But this is, it's so, so much more of a, a slower paced grind than before. You see infantry, they need to have overwhelming numbers, get across the road, and then support. Kind of like a, a bounding. You got fire and move. Miko and Jackalaka on the north side of the road as Halal. Okay, all right. Okay. We're... How is this all right. <laughs> Miko. Taking a GL, but infantry slowly working towards the south side of this HAB building for MEA. MEA uppish, uh, uppish spread coast, to trying to keep infantry away from the radio. Tosses a grenade into the compound. Might get scorched, and I'm better. And no, it gets howling dogfish actually on the outside of the compound. Bonks around a little bit, but ooh, infantry. Just slugging it out, close quarters here. Giga goes to just sprint around the corner, and Sunloa, he's stationary. He gets the jump on him. Infantry, I'm better, is better than Uppish Coast in this instance. Blasts him from the driver's seat of the Lodgy, and here you go. Plenty of rounds just coming down on the west side of the point. You got, so oh, and hold on a second. This is, this might be the win right here. Let's try to figure out where exactly this mortar fob is in Psycho 2K. Great job. We got I player. wouldn't be surprised if this is what wins it. Squad 2, there's a whole team in that compound. So, mortars and the mortar fob with uh. Squad 5 way out west by Estate. And 
these mortars are going to be crucial if they keep firing. I'm not quite sure why he's not firing it right now. I think they have plenty of ammo. Uh, 784. We also have an MG. I mean, this is what you want to have on the north side of the hills here. Or north side, rather, the uh, the western side of the hills overlooking here. Whichever side can get fire superiority will win. And this is a, a, a nice spot, keeping that tower down. And this is that fob. The fob is right where those MGs are, are landing. Mortars landing right in front of the uh, the mosque as well. You can see it splashing. And this should keep the U.S. locked on their side of the road. This is just incredible how both sides seemingly able to proxy and unproxy the fobs. Mortar is just a little short. If they're able to get a bit further east, they're going to actually get into the compound. Right now, it's just kind of zoning. You see Top Monkey knocks out I'm Better and... Uh, a katsuki, a katsuki, katsuki, <laughs> a katsuki. Somehow this radio has not been found out. Hans takes a couple shots at Science Striker running across the road, but misses. I cannot believe this radio it hasn't even been marked. It hasn't been marked. Oh, Top Monkey turns the corner and blasts Silent, his buddy. Hans has a chance to win. Right, we're digging down our own half to move it here, guys. Ooh. One sec. Hold on a second. Proxy. That's actually not a bad move at all. So they're digging down the hab that's right here. And they want to move it just a little east because they've noticed every time that they try to push or that they get pushed, it's proxy almost immediately. So we're just going to move it. Very, very good audible called by, by Wenz here trying to move it. I don't know if that's far enough. He's trying to move it to the southeast compound. You see Wenz trying to drop this, uh, this hab here. On the radio. Uh, I think that's a missed call. U.S. saying that enemy were on the radio, but we're staring at the radio right now. I think they saw that the hab didn't exist, and U.S. command uh, trying to freak out a little bit. Uh, we moved the hab. All right, hab is going up, and we'll see if this works. That might be just far enough from the enemy hab for MEA. So. Slowly but surely, U.S. is just fighting their way outside of this compound. 210 tickets to 210. This is going to be a close game. Both sides with three objectives right now. Squad 4 trying to push out to Akhtar's compound, but you can't do much unless you knock out MEA from the town. And still waiting to see if anyone on the U.S. side, it might be Squad 8, might be now trying to set up a fob that is overwatching. You really need some high ground in order to get control of the valley. Because as you can see, this grind, it is just going to be a slog. Iron band, dust. I'm so scared. Oh, he's got it! Let's do down. Fuck y'all. I do got this. <laughs> yeah, see, I told you, man. The Nikki Butts just needed a little bit of confidence boost from Mr. Ander. Drags him back around the corner. And there you go. North side. A little bit. Uh, of a worry earlier, but if the U.S. can just... Oh, they're good mortars now. Holy heck, nearly gotten... Getting knocked from that. Um, Hab is still overrun. And still no mark. This is the MEA radio that we're looking right in the, the middle of your screen here. MEA radio still has not been marked on the map, despite the entire team fighting next to it. Wins, Golden Potato. Wins, he's, he's got heads up. He's probably going to hear this radio. And heads up uh, SL so far. Goes full auto, knocks out Silent Strike. And he should hear this radio. Oh, he's going to run have, right by it. They have, a, they have an ammo crate right there. Oh, they have his marks. And Wins is going to push straight towards that hab. Walking right by the radio. And this is just amazing. This is why you need your audio up, guys. Wear headphones. I mean, you can, you can hear this if you're paying attention. Mortars now. Oh, this might be deadly. And it is. Mortars attacking the radio position. Knocks out three. These are defensive mortars. 
and golden potato also going down fantastic call in and this is why you can see the red outlines over the hill they can see the infantry crawling all over the radio position and can also get visual confirmation where those mortars are landing just well played and good setup from mea right now 197 tickets to 198 MEA, I'm trying to see, do they get another hab up? They're trying to get a hab. Oh, they do have a hab on the north side. This is very, very far, though. I'm not sure if this is going to be too helpful, but we'll have to see. Squad 8 also setting up a hab on the hillside, trying to get some uh, fortifications and placements. Oh, and Soda, does he have it? He is digging down the radio. Finally, U.S. is on the radio even under mortar fire, the only American who didn't die to those mortars found himself inside that radio and he's got a shovel out and he's going to start digging down. Jackalaka though, with Jaws and a handful of his buddies, they might be able to QRF this really quickly. QRF really quick. It's QRF is quick reaction for it. How can you quick reaction a quick reaction? You know what I mean? Respond run down whenever your radio starts to bleed out you kind of just have to drop everything and see if you can't hightail it there because that's going to be a, a lot of ticket loss in a game that only starts with 200 tickets hab is off roof is off dell and in jim possible fighting close quarters here grenade tossed by jim just tags beans here beans trying to hold that corner he has plenty of health not worrying about pulling out his bandage just yet Falls back a bit and might choose to do it now. Wince, though, about to peek. Oh, and there he goes for the shovel. No, he fat fingered it. Tried to go for the bandage. Bandage now out. Wince holding that corner. And gun is now up and he sees it. Wince goes. Oh my God, Beans tries to full auto and just loses composure and loses the battle. Radio on bleed out for MEA and Wins has just shown some uh, uh, some gusto, some some chutzpah, some balls. As you can see, MEA is just moving up and now, oh, I love this. We actually have vehicles. These Samir cars are actually being used for suppression. They're, they're keeping the tops, the, the roofs, they're, they're just keeping them just pinned down as the tanks are unleashing uh, tank and BMPs are just unleashing fire as well. These heat rounds and frag rounds. So you have suppression from the right side of infantry. You're going to have infantry pushing up alongside these vehicles for support. You can see them start to uh, uh, start to move as well. And, I mean, this is just a perfect, perfect example of the new type of mechanics that are going with uh, the infantry combat overhaul. You'd never see these Samirs. Uh, you... This would be, you'd be dead to rights if you were set up like this prior to ICO and prior to V6, just with how easy it would have been uh, to kill everybody right here. This still feels very like World War One, World War Two, like, hey, charge type thing, you know? Uh, but we'll see. First, MEA starting to smash into it, and now we have Rocket Barrage. I mean, this is... Insurgents, good effort, but it's going to be. I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting to see that little airstrike pop up or already pop up. Good effort, but they're just going to be slaughtered. Like we're very low. We have plenty of machine gunners, but the AT and fragmentations are low on us, and we have used all of the anti-tank. We can see how it's going to start to be this little standoff area right now. I think they just killed each other. Um, but this little little road is actually going to prove a lot of issues now. So you've now created. Oh my God! You've now created um, a situation where NBA is okay to push up, but unless they get these vehicle support or some large asset, it is going to be hard to break in. And look at the bodies. We're gonna start assaulting this house and just get marked. I mean, this is just chaos. It really does look like World War One, World War Two. It's just bodies keep 
falling over. You got grenades, rockets. As rockets are just firing above us as well. Oh my goodness, we have one brave insurgent. He is charging. Goes full auto. Knocks out one medic before his battle buddy takes him out though. But I mean, this is just a pile. One of the bloodiest battles I think I've ever seen on Eye in the Sky in terms of just sheer body count in one location. Insane. This again. Please. You say you hear him call in local comms to press. This is stuff you wouldn't have seen before. I, I do. The fact that I we looked over and we saw two light vehicles with heavy machine guns suppressing a compound while infantry was pushing around him. I'm, dude, that gets me so hyped. I love that stuff. These are the invasion rounds you always hope to see. Honestly, these are the invasion rounds you hope to play. Reloading. Heavy machine gun reloads. And the MG3 takes over. And MG is back up and they are good to go. Now I'm waiting to see something dangerous come up from the south, but it's not going to happen. Though all BMPs are dead. And let's take a look at the map real quick we'll get back to the action but this is the this is the situation here uh you have between the hab which is right here and this line is about a hundred meters you can overrun a you can overrun a hab with nine people in 90 meters so as you see this hab keeps getting overrun because of the burn and the infantry that keep pouring in and they are now starting to try to breach the hab is still going to be overrun and now we have Close quarters, breaching combat. Peyton waiting in the blue and yellow smoke. MEA trying to get in on the south side. Daka gets docked. And this is now, well, do they have razor wire? In? Oh my God, they have razor wire all over the place. I mean, this is honestly, you need indirect here. If MEA has done everything else perfect, but if they had one mortar position, I mean, this is what you got vehicles in lines with support on the north side infantry pushing on the east side with uh heavy machine guns suppressing support i mean this is it almost looks like a, a an armored assault from arma you know like a combined arms arma assault Peyton still holding strong Still trying to wait to see that Artie or something just pop up. Close quarters. I mean, they're trying to breach here. Infantry being pulled out, and that's why you just need to blow them up, really. Breaching on the south side. The shovels are up, one level down. You finally start to hear a little more shovels out, and there you go. Good covering. And dog one is open. You had Cray and McGroom finally go down Peyton as well. You see that the red body in the bottom left of the screen here. He was holding that corner. MEA slowly trying to claw themselves inside the objective area. Crispy Dwayne, Talker 3000, Black Cloud. Just a handful of insurgents left because now they have to run across the field. And they are, there's no way they're going to get inside that objective. The amount of vehicle support MEA has right now. Oh, my God. Just bodies and bodies and bodies. Tristan now. Looks like he might be a medic, actually. Trying to get up his insurgent stuff. No, he's going for a grenade. Throws one. Doesn't do much. Throws another. And that one goes far. Still no party and something just popped. Yeah, BMPs and uh, T-72 stand on the north side, but MTLB, uh, 8015 pilot getting a little brave here. 
Oh my goodness! And it hits uh, a mine stack. 8015 pilot just runs right over the bridge, and that was booby trapped insurgents. I mean, you gotta give them credit. They've been doing well, they just haven't. Uh, it's, it's almost, you know, it's almost. And hold on a second. EMP. Looks like they, uh, MEA might have lost one BMP on the hillside to an anti tank crew. Um, but the real fighting is over the objective, and I mean, they are still going at it. This urban combat now. I, I'm sorry, but but this is just so. Oh my god, Team Habibi just turned the corner and blasting. I mean, this is just incredible how long firefights can now last. If you have if you have a good uh, kind of corner to hold, I mean, urban combat isn't going to be easy. Another MTLB goes down, or about to go down, caught fire, looks like to uh, an RPG or maybe another mine. Luffy 3000 and polynomial function. The last one's up, but EBA are capping it. About halfway to neutral. 216 tickets for EBA to 520 for the insurgents at this rate. Insurgents honestly might just lose on tickets. EBA being a lot more economical with their ticket situation. But I mean, this is a, this is a fight. Um, I, I want to say, hold on a second. BRDM chunk again. Chunk has just been very aggressive with these BRDMs. Knocking on a Lodgy. Okay, oh, and hold on. He might get another one. You need to call it out. And he is calling it out. Squad 7 redirects. Um, I want to say, yeah, if anyone go. wants to go and check the tape, but about 150 tickets, I believe, was the MEA count when they finally captured uh, Basra Airport. So when they captured it, they got an additional 100. North Highway Bridge was a freebie, so additional 100 there. Should have been at about 350 tickets coming into... Hold on a second, MEA helicopter. Oh, hold on a second. Is this a... This might be an IED... Might be an ID truck, and it looks like it is. Slamming right into the side of the objective. You need to blow it up. Pull the trigger. Did they not? Oh, I think they did. No, they didn't. Did he just get confused? Are there IEDs on this? There are no IEDs. He just drove to the wrong point and didn't die? Wait, 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 wait. How did this even happen? My man, an insurgent, just drove a white pickup truck to an active objective where the MEA were and didn't die. I thought like something, you know how squad is screwed up? It's, it's uh, explosion assets and explosion animations. I thought that's what would happen. Oh, and hold on a second. MEA have not got it yet. It's at 95%, 98%. If you have a couple infantry that just push it, they can still hold on. But they need to get in. Oh, and there it goes. Honestly, if these insurgents just pushed, they might have been able to take it back. As the hab is getting placed, and they couldn't have timed it any perfectly. War Machine, Muffin Man, Barry... And uh, Turtle sure, pushing in to try to knock out this objective area, uh, or I guess the FOB area, which is now the, the critical objective uh, for militia. And HAB is going to be over on the right. moment they respawn dig it up. Point is coming up. Everybody needs to be ready to respawn there. But it is all up to those reinforcements. I mean, this is clutch. Harry knocks out two. <laughs> and HAB not quite up yet. Lodgy pops, 145 tickets. APC coming around the backside and they might... Oh my goodness, no, they don't. They get blasted by the T-62 and it's all going sideways. Canadians need to make this fob work. And rolling up, 
Now you have the T-62, you have a bunch of infantry, and now a 50 cal on the back of a nice Toyota pickup. Uh-oh, you need to aim for the gunner. Oh, and Xander Bin gets blasted by the uh, T-62 as well. M113s just turning into pinatas. And now the FOB is being suppressed. Oh my goodness, look at all those names. Look at all the bodies inside. Oh, well, he has to reload. The worst time to reload. Get that gun up, soldier. Oh, no. Unbelievably lucky for the Canadians. You got one man trying to jump in, uh, jump back on it. No, never mind. He says he doesn't want that smoke either. A hundred and twenty-eight tickets to two hundred fifty-two. Toxic Taco coming in with the drone. Right, oh, and that's the mortar barrage. Doing it on us. This is going horribly. Mortar barrage in an open apartment complex, and that is just slaughtering the Canadians trying to spawn in. But you have Canadians using their shovels trying to keep that half up. Look at all the bodies, though. Infantry for militia are going to be piling in soon, but look at how many people are down. This is almost an entire team wipe. All right, we got our splash coming down now. And Canadians, if they can keep this hab up, and they have been able to. You now have their own artillery. We're going to leave the outlines and names up so you can see if it's as effective as a Canadian one. But look at all these bodies. 113 tickets to 237. Canadian artillery now unleashing. And look at the line of irregular militia bodies as well. Barry and Roast Meef. Bailey Swiggum's also pushing. It is just absolute chaos on the point. Even with all this, it's just so hard to see. Another uh, little Lodge event getting obliterated by the T-62. And the artillery has finished from the Canadians. Honestly, hasn't done much, but maybe just maybe gave them some time uh, to respawn and get people up. 106 tickets. This is the lowest amount of tickets the Canadians have had all game. And now you got two T-62s pushing this Western flank. That could be uh, dangerous, wait, actually. Leopard should be spawning in any second now. Oh, left. five minutes and eight minutes. That's an eternity in a game of squad. Uh, yep. Last 100 yeah, tickets, seven. and it is not looking good for the Canadians. They are being overwhelmed uh, and surrounded. Ab is almost overrun. You can see it's all... Just like building, building by building, block by block right uh, now. Two. Squad two has hey, flanked two, around. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Squad two with the hero play now. How they went all the way down south. Uh, everyone focusing on the objective. Squad two they set up a sneaky, sneaky guys. fob. And actually, whoopsie daisy, a regular militia. Now this fob will be overrun, and the Canadians are going to push into power plants. And hold on a second, you're now going to have militia sandwiched between two Canadian forces, one in the north, one in the south. Complete Uno reverse card. BMP on our left side, T-62s rolling in on our right. As Canadians are just T6. spilling out from everywhere. Oh no! T-62 opens up on the BMP and nearly uh, takes their own vehicle out. Uh, T-62, you need some good comms right now. That is a friendly vehicle. And they actually look like they're close to being on fire Two because of that round. may have been the biggest brain play of all time because they have all of their focus over here on the north side. That is not wrong. You now have a Thanks. whole bunch of infantry uh, close quarters side, fighting as well as a T-62 on this. But here we go. Look at what is happening south. The fact that you got back here, though, is amazing. Uh, guys.
Guys, the water is shallow, so you can walk in it. Senator it's Fresh. Very, yeah, the bridge that we can't cross the river is also a thing. And not sure what he's trying to do with this little SPG. <laughs> and that's the answer. Nothing. Canadians defend their Habs. 72 tickets to 199. And you even have to be careful if you're the T-62s. Vic is approaching us. Enemy lodging him. 12 observe. T-62. On that western road. Looks like he's in some trouble. Maybe tracked. And once again, the stream of infantry from the south is just not stopping. Uh, if you're spawning south, east, oh, power this might plant, be the ball game. 67 tickets to 171, and power plant is about it's to start kicking over place. blue. Uh, Look at the stream of Canadians, and there you go. Power plant is being captured, and they're going to get inside the plant, and it's going to be almost impossible for militia to get in and uh, right, to get in and, and root them out. We'll be ready for a hard push from the north. The regular militia need to run right now on the objective. You don't want to lose it here at the last point, especially like that when you were pushing their hab just a second ago. 64 tickets to 170. Only 100 tickets separate them. But it's really on if Militia can get into the objective here. Fade. Trying to take shots at Reboot Your Mind. Stuck in this top little warehouse building. Whooping Worm. Dr. Bean Drip. Eurasia. AK Mario takes out a few, but... I... Oh, man. Infantry, you just... If you're Militia, you just need to get in here. Look at what's going to happen. Is you're going to have infantry stuck on this hill unless they just shift uh, W in at this point you just need to make it happen because you're almost neutral we have so much infantry the Canadians on the point that it's going to be a really really quick cap about a minute 20 seconds before they secure it if everything stands like this mortars landing down but look how much infantry is all on it And I think that's it. T62 is going to have to do some damage if they they want a chance. Oh, and he gets Miki. T62 dropping some drive smoke, and that is good. Knocks out another one, and he just needs to go blasting all hands off. Looking at the map so we can see the cap status. Canadians are less than 60 seconds away from winning this game. And I think they're going to get it. This infantry needs to push in and it's, oh my goodness, it's going to be close. This smoke coverage, get up and off the, the ground to shift W on the objective. Smith and One Wheel Dude doing what they can. BMP as well south here. What's the cap status? About 30 seconds left. Infantry need to get on the objective. Look at the bodies. Turtle, Woo, Barry, Inept all trying to get in. And Canadians are starting to take casualties on the point. Still about 20 seconds now. The cap status is slowing. And it's getting down to a trickle. As infantry for a regular militia are starting to pull in about 15 more seconds. Every, I know you're like, boy, it's already been 20 seconds. Every infantry the Canadians lose will start to slow it down that much. And one Chevron, and now it is, it is stalled. The cap is stalled. Canadians are no longer capping. You can see right here. Oh, the T-62 pops, but they did their job. Honestly, you needed to do that. They went all in. BMP is shooting at the G Enemy is decapping. Cool. Enemy are decapping the call it is. That means the T-62 did what they had to do. Infantry have spilled in. Red is surrounding it, which means a regular militia are securing it again. 36 tickets, and you now have a BMP. Just blasting the hab. The game is not over yet, but it is pretty darn close, and that is a lot of smoke. 
contract G714. Tracked and they are running over Canadians left, right, and center. BMP just blasting AT, slamming into the front. BMP is just, <laughs> just on a joyride right here. It is not over yet, but it is close. Let's see if you have any tanks coming in. Leopard, you see the bottom left of that map. He is just steaming right towards the objective. And they have to. More, these are enemy mortars now landing on the point and it is just a pile of Canadian bodies. Twenty one tickets to 121. Infantry now pushing with the support of the BMP. Infantry going to clear it out and you got a little trade, but still one more in and another trade from behind and there it goes the hab There you go don't give up only 14 tickets and that's why Enemies are full capping and the leopard way down South here Tell all you guys not to give up hold their spawn have hit a mine the last gasp effort and the last chance. It's a mine and they are unable to push in, but this might be it too. Uh, the important duty of squad seven. It's not fun all the time, but whenever you do get in contact and you're able to uh, push out an attack, it feels really good. So squad, uh, squad seven and, and command actually uh, looky they need to be on their game. A handful more infantry nearby, and that HAB is going to be overrun. You see one, two, three, four, so 40 meter range, and that HAB is going to be unspawnable for the Chinese. There is an American rally really close. Not sure I like how close that is, but see the objective area nearby, and Nikki Butts and Men in a Tree digging down. They are breaching, and that is a whole bunch of infantry bunched up. If there was one grenade, if you have a grenade, now's the time to use it. Target, give me attack request. I'm not seeing shit up here. As far as like infantry on the ground, they've got their shit They see us, Greg. Back up, back up, back up, back up. They're right there. They don't see us. He really does. Oh, I do see a fob. I do see a fob. Hold on, wait, wait. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Get the guy on the right. You ready? Ready? Oh my goodness, they pulled it off! I'm gonna get the guy on the left, you get the guy on the right. And what a wipe! <laughs> and oh, they go for the grenade back! Artemis coming, boys! Here we come! They see us for sure. Oh, grenade, there you go! What an ambush! That was textbook! Uh, he might have might have wanted to open up with a grenade to start, but a bunch of infantry down on the point, and the hab is still uh, spawnable for the Chinese. 119 tickets to 116, but this has caused a whole bunch of chaos in the Chinese back lines, and now you have uh, Deceiving is actually doing quite well, living up to his name. Deceiving coming in on the the back side of the objective as well. Uh, is it Skoxy? Moving down, trying to link up with him. Oh, tosses a grenade, but Nikki Butts goes down. We'll see how the grenade goes. A little short. Please do. 115 tickets to 114. Smoke now popping out. And you have infantry streaming in. Johnny Trouble, Max. Possible hab mark down there. Tarth. A bit more infantry, and this hab is going to be overrun. Need to be very careful. If you're trying to, honestly, at this point, you need to push out and uh, and take out whoever's attacking you. Sound tap with the right idea. Nikki Butts goes down. Man in the tree is still up. Tarth up. You need to get to your perimeter here because the way that this fence is laid out, 
it actually protects and oh sound tap with another kill man in a tree goes down tarth the only one on the outside here e running back and he's running on the uh kind of the rally side johnny trouble and max breaching you need to to close the gap if you're the americans to, to overrun that spawn point tarth does get killed by the couple of chinese infantry that have pushed out to the wall and you're about to have a hab overrun hab is overrun down the, road, east. the only spawn point right now for the Chinese is a rally way off the point. And if sound tap doesn't uh, squash the rally that we see right on the outside, that hourglass blue hourglass figure in about center of your screen. Oh my goodness. Deceiving has managed to get on top of the house. Yeah. Deceiving running in dandy just barely tags him. Deceiving going for a bandage might be a little too passive and he gets blasted, but does it matter? More infantry coming in. Americans are streaming in. Who sees who first? And you need to pull your rifle up at this point. Infantry trying to burst in. And there you go. It is all over next to the radio. He wants to completely destroy this. Oh, grenade being tossed out. Emplacement nearly down. And pushing in. But misses. Oh, and there it is. Little crossfire. Bodies pile up in the front of the door. And here it is. K. Max Solnum. Oh, and there. Private Joe Walker. Oh, man. This was so close for the U.S. U.S. Their rally was just a little 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 too close private uh joe walker able to get out and squash that rally right as a uh, man in a tree nikki butts and johnny trouble come in but hab will be respawnable and infantry are going to spawn back and that is going to stall the attack for now unbelievable and guns are a blazing finally knocks out the sapper we got the little party bus 109 tickets left for the militia as bdb dismount on the objective defensive smoke on the east side but nothing on the south side that's kind of where you need it right now gom dismounts and he gets blasted instantly barrel around the corner he takes a few to his dome and oh good clear out by uh jasper he does trade with inept and well there you go that was the initial push in through the front oh, gate on, and that did not end up well graph dodger and mike's coming in with the btr trying to do a little loop-de-loop -loop, get his buddies back up maybe oh grad coming in and nearly knocks out some friendlies a little off target for that first shot trying to go for this east side it's got to be just a I don't know how best to describe it, but you want to go out on a high note if you're militia, you know? You're down 94 tickets. You know you haven't lost as many vehicles as they have. And you know you're on the second to last point, so they've gotten a lot of Another plus crunch. 100 tickets. You want you want something good to happen, you know? Get a nice little flank. Real raw news coming around, knocking out some infantry. You want to blow up a vehicle. You want to do something crazy. So, unless... He just tried to VDV me right absolutely throw right now okay. and lose all of their vehicles. Militia's got this in the bag. No clue where he went. Give it under what you got? How many? You 25 tickets? Me, oh, yeah, sorry, 25 minutes. Just techie, actually. Yeah. Wow. Rogue he mags takes a frag around the side. Wins trying to push, and I think he's got rogue mags suppressing it doesn't matter gtx 99 able to just steady himself and tandem rounds into that vehicle and now oh and there goes the btr as well so 215 tickets for vdv 82 for militia and only 24 minutes left in game militia well i think they're gonna lose their fob down here but they are very close to holding out until time 
that would be, I think, a first for Eye in the Sky if they're able to do it. 213 tickets to 81, though, and they might lose this radio. So another minus 20 tickets, 60 tickets to hold for 20 minutes. I don't know if they can do it. But El Chulo knocks out Hoboken Chicken, Golden Potato inside as well. And this is a last stand situation for Militia. Firestorm trying to crawl his way to victory. Golden Potato is going to end that pretty quickly. Firestorm goes down and you got Eurasia trying to peek at Yoge. Oh, and Eurasia just full auto clears the whole thing. Matt the Badger knocks out one, though. And, Roger. well, I mean, it's not over again. Mixie and, and Matt the Badger are up here. They need to pretty much wipe an entire team right now. They have three infantry nearby. If they can knock out two of them, Mixie going for the revive. Mixie is a scout. No, a grenadier. Golden potato. They're right next to each other. He's in the house. Mixie going for the revive. You have infantry still all over. Now you have reinforcement squad four pushing on the outside from for militia and mission time knocks out actually Bob mission time. Takes a couple more shots. Tags Trash Frog in the foot. Dirk, 1909s. Still trying to hold the line. Infantry. This is close quarters fighting. The radio was half dug. Grenade knocks out Duga. Fishing time. Clears one side. Knight Roost, the last one up for the VDV on the outside. Matt the Badger comes on top of him. It goes with the pistol. No, Knight Roost. Still on the outside, they hear the bandage, but everyone else is reviving. They don't know who's who. Oh, yeah, there's some people up inside. Yeah, I see him. Hey, one right over there. Full auto. They don't see it. Go, J88 running in. And you still see pockets on the right side of your screen in blue. Real raw news. Taking a few rounds to the face. He crumbles over. Eurasia on the backside. Oh my goodness. Matt the Badger actually gets the jump on Eurasia. Eurasia does a nice little turn and knocks him out anyway. Knight Roo is going to throw a grenade. Right going to throw a grenade in the building. That might be huge. Oh, it knocks off Firestorm and El Chulo. Yoge just barely stays up. And hold on a second. What is this Uno reverse? The Uno reverse. Knight Roo is picking up actually Bob. Eurasia still up. Pockets up. It is a four on four. About to be a five on five and then a six on six as the VDV are reviving on the backside. Night Roos being a clutch medic. Dirk 1909 trying to clear his corners. Eurasia still holding the doorway and he might get Dirk. Eurasia coming up huge. Radio is up and operational, but it doesn't matter because there's too many VDV on the inside. Dirk finally turns around. And Eurasia goes down. This has been enough of a hold that you can see the VDV has now pushed into the north side. Entire the swarm of infantry pouring in. Mixie, oh my gosh, they're going. Mixie's going for it. They they know it's a lost cause. He's going for the. Oh, he's just not even trying. I mean, he's trying, but. I think they were freaking out about the tickets a little too much. It was actually a fair fight, and you can see just three infantry have made it alive. If Yoge and Mixie uh, had just kept their gun up and stopped worrying about the radio, they might have actually completely cleared it. Oh my goodness, that is just so close. 19 ticket or 19 minutes though. You're gonna lose 20 tickets here, so 39 tickets. And you just, you don't, uh, it, it's, it's going to be more than that because no, you, you're going to lose 20 tickets and then I'm counting two, four, six, eight, ten, a dozen or so infantry on the point. So you're going to be down to right, math is hard. You're going to lose 33 tickets. You're going to be down to 10 tickets. This is yeah. just about GG. I mean, good last stand, but that is it. Minus 20 tickets, we, we have 
15 or so give ups. Radio on bleed. We've got 18 minutes. We got to do this fast. Top notch Dave, obese raccoon, Yoge, Shagnar, Pewfinger. These guys need to get on to the objective and into that hab radio room within the next 45 to 50 seconds to have a chance to save in this radio and 20 tickets. And the grad lands right when infantry starts pushing up. That might have been clutch. Moto not. Is he able to get him off? No, Moto not. Somebody kill someone. Shag goes for the knife. He has to go in quick. And Shag, you just have to sprint into the room and, and hope. Oh my goodness! Running through grad fire. Shag is just running. He's just running. Going for the radio. Yeah, I mean it's fair enough. Oh, he's just going for the shovel! No! Very taken care of with three medics next to me. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Knocks out one in the knife. Goes for the bandage. He just freaking knifed me. <laughs> wow, Shag with almost the play of the game. Marines are about to take a whole bunch of arty fire. Artillery has been called in on the point by the Chinese commander. And it's about to... Hey, if the video all of a sudden ends right here, it's because this caught my computer on fire, okay? The amount of fortifications and emplacements all jammed up in this small area with all of the explosions that are about to happen. Hey, fingers crossed. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. First round, direct hit. Knocks out an entire side. And the Marines are now scrambling. Second ranging shot. As someone hits a mine right off screen. And here you go. Marines need to get in quick because it's about to open up. There it goes. Half of the fob already leveled. And Marines are just being flattened. The big question is, is there going to be enough infantry nearby to dig it up? You have one Marine trying to run out of the artillery barrage. He's going to get out in time. It doesn't look promising. And no, I suck. Yeah. All right, start pushing in now. Start yeah, pushing in now. Up. Infantry are going to be running in. You got the ZBL. Ah, oh, Royce and Roman off to our front left. But it doesn't matter. Infantry are all over the fob already. Might have lost a bunch of emplacements and fortification. Doesn't matter. Meaty claws up. Lunch, fetus lunch? Really? Uh, Foe hammer. Everybody pushing back in. And now ZBL is going to try to do a little bit of smoke screen, but it's not going to work. Engined. And he is heavy smoking. It's up to Finrique. You can see that blue outline in the middle of the smoke there. Trying to push that hab. Finrique. If you get one more infantry close, you can start to, uh, to join armor squad? overrun this hab. But the Marines are like, they're like the Amish, just rebuilding as quickly as it went down. AT by E knocks out. Oh, let's just say it's not going to knock it out just yet, but it is pretty dang close. Royce and Roman are on fire. Roman in the back trying to get that fire out. And now you have this Joker. Oh, Shaq and Midnight flank. Fire is out on the ZBL. Good push. We'll turn out the name so you can just see the outlines and see how they start yeah, to I'm push in. ZBL is still in. alive, and now you're going to have the Hab is overrun. Yes, it is. Infantry who are here are going to be the last ones unless they can clear the Marines, and it doesn't look like it. A couple Marines go down, and now the Chinese are starting to breach. 
Very close quarters. You want to get a grenade over there if you're the well either party, to be honest. Chinese going for a grenade. He throws. Oh, he tries to bake it. Oh, frag out. They missed it. Oh, and another one. Marines clear out a huge corner. Oh, they just started spamming nades too. Owen oh, almost pulled off the peak shot. Evaluated pump, cardboard box. They are trying to hold the ground. Araz, Midnight, and the Joker Mafia, the last ones up here. This hab is still overrun. Yes, it is. There's just too much infantry nearby. Marines need to keep pushing out and clearing. Joker Mafia going with the underhand grenade. That might be a perfect one. And it is. Knocks out three. Pump devalued and you go go down. Space Goblins trying to figure out what's going on. But another grenade. Space takes a little bit of shrapnel in his corner. Gallop tosses another grenade. This is why you want to have riflemen. Space going out and he gets just full auto blasted. Gallop now breaching in. Parallax right behind him. I'm inside. All right, we're pushing in on their point here. We're starting the cap. Can we go? Dito Hex takes a face full of lead. Who's going to clear out? And now you've got the reinforcements trying to see if there's any type of airstrike or something being called in. China is not calling in any command asset yet. Jinto Hex gets flanked. Didn't realize Kacha Kasasai was going to be on the right side. He was looking left. They cannot spawn. There's maybe one, two more. Exactly. They cannot spawn. Maybe one or two more. And there's a few more than that, but that's the right idea. You want to slowly push up. Keep the numbers. Good little bunny hop grenade that might get faux hammer and poo poo. And it does. Well, I can't believe I even say th said those words. <laughs> poo poo goes down. <laughs> Fill the blank. Oh, man. And catch a sigh. Amazing push in the gaming ant and green TK up with mini claws. The last one's here. And if you want to hold this, if you're the Chinese, you need an airstrike right now. You need an, a, a artillery barrage. You need something. It's not over for the, the last men standing on the objective here, but it's getting pretty dang close. Green DK trying to hide in that, uh, that indirect fire bunker. Trying to see if any but, uh, infantry nearby who can spawn in. You can yeah, see behind us. Uh, oh, now you got Critter maybe trying to uh, hit some mortars in. But you have a, a couple infantry trying to stream into the point for the Chinese. If they get mortars right, pretty much where Space right Goblins is, Midnight, this little bundle of blue on the objective. Well... Chinese a, might not be able to capture it. Meaty Claws pushes in. He goes down. Mortar's just a little long, actually. Need to tighten that up a little bit. And it is just green TK left. But hold on, Critter. Now jumping off the mortars, and that might be a, the wrong decision. Uh, there's a whole boatload of ammo left. Green TK goes to push out. Knocks out a couple. It's just midnight left. Galhop and Joker Mafia on the other side. It is, uh, this is very close. Green TK. Green TK is holding out. Mortar still just a little short. But he does knock out Nomad, nearly ki uh, kills Captain McDickens. And no way, Green TK mops him up. They're dropping mortars on fine. There are just three left for the Chinese. Two left for the Chinese. Galahop and... Well, Joker might have picked someone up. Midnight is is on top of the set of bodies. And he kills him. Have his spotting. Oh, my goodness. What a clear. Green TK. Nice land. And the mortars. What a hold. We got about 10 seconds until the entire Marine team is going to spawn in. And Green TK might have just made the play of the game here. Holding out in the indirect fire bunker. And we have to see if we get that big red wave. And there it is. Shiko meeting. Oh, no. Just a couple spot in. Yeah, they, they wiped us out with mortars. On. Where's everybody else? They're trying to cap back. And they are. It's just enough. And so you have enough infantry now spawning on the objective. What an absolutely insane hold. Four minutes. They have 48 tickets. That is not impossible.
Rick and Morty knocks out Baldwin. He might bleed out, though. He's in the side here. And he does. So Baldwin actually trades with Rick and Morty. Half of an infantry squad. Oh, hold on a second. Say losing the radio. So we need to be very careful. One radio is 20 tickets. So if they lose that radio, that is half of their remaining spawns left. Billy Mays, Sword of Morning. Yeah. I can hear might see Sage in right here. Hey, Batman. And let's see Sage in and Legacy Legends. Now, this infantry squad is about to run right into the Russians in the buildings. Full auto by Sword knocks out one. Billy Mays does go down. Oh, and good flee. Oh my god, the bodies! Batman! They all just grouped up. That's why you got to watch your spacing. Batman takes out three in a small burst of AK fire. Jack's a train. Oh, good shots by Baldwin, who's actually just revived and able to full auto. Sajin's just sitting there, bipodded, letting all his buddies die in front of him. Says, you know what? That's not my problem. Huge. This... It looks very minor. This point could all be decided on this squad uh, squad fight right here. If they're able to keep all this infantry down, then Russians are going to lose their push on the point. Rick and Morty goes down. You got a fantastic covering fire suppressing, and he peeks it again. They just won't. Fitzbro, Dub, Frosty, Sajin, all trying to hold this angle. Bro, unleashing full auto, full auto against full auto, blind fire against blind fire. Batman goes to turn and knocks it. No, he misses. He hits Rick and Morty, but doesn't finish him off. And now we got the BRDM trying to push the point. He's pushing the hab. This is huge. 32 tickets left. Bronco Baker needs to be careful, but they should double check real quick. I know, I, I know they min armed. I know we missed it because I opened the map. I know someone's going to complain about it, but we got to check. No ammo left on the point. That's what I needed to check, and especially after that min arm, that is going to be costly. BRDM can now just sit here because they have nothing to do. High explosive dual purpose round comes in from the GL. 31 tickets to 321. Apex jumping on top. But you can see this infantry push is still up. Riley just barely. 29 tickets. Riley and Johnny now. This is huge. The game can come down to here. Gilly nearly gets hit by a grenade and goes down. Oh, he does go down. Finally bleeds out. No, oh, he mid arms just barely. He was like 29 meters away. Rick and Morty finally goes. I think he might have rearmed off of an ammo bag or something, but there's almost no ammo left here. You can see, is this the hab? No way, is this the hab? No, the hab is in a building. Americans are going to lose because ugh, have placement. It's so frustrating. It's allowing infantry to push up because infantry now are spawning in. The Americans are spawning in a hab. It's so hard to get out. They're spawning in a building. They're spawning in a fence. And you can see the blue are just slowly getting picked up. Russia doing so great to just be calm, cool, and collected. Slowly push up and try to revive and reheal. 27 tickets. Hold on. I see the Bradley. Bradley actually just got hit by AT. And I'm not sure he's... Wizzo's deciding if they want to do a an artillery barrage or an airstrike. Honestly, you got to do something, but the, the hab is inside. Bradley might see this BRDM, and that's going to be six tickets down. Five for the BRDM and one for... One for the, uh, the player. Bron Wait, he tries to go? Is he going to be able to go? No, wait, he can swap. You can kill him. 
BRDM, you, you can kill the Bradley. The, the 12-7. Why did he not finish him? Shoot the Bradley. This is not going to happen. Is it going to happen? Please let it happen. That would be amazing. Just shoot him. Please. Oh, my God. He dies to a hat. BRDM is still alive. I don't know why this is happening right now. BRDM is just like, okay, if I don't move, maybe he won't kill me. Bradley goes down 23 tickets to 287. Look at all the infantry now. I don't know what is happening. Oh man, that airstrike is going to be huge. They're calling an airstrike on this? Don't tell me they're putting a Sioux strike right into this. Oh, hat does finally go down. Is there really an airstrike about to happen right here? Because that would cause, look, you can see slowly the infantry are pushing out. You see pop farts. God damn. <laughs> oh, there it is. Near almost everybody goes down for the Americans. Scruffy is one of the few ones, but he gets up Baldwin and this is going to be so close. Infantry, 14 tickets to 271, and this is going to be so close. I think it's... I Oh, no, they're being picked off. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, just killed two or three. Cow, cow man. Oh, is he he's pushing it? Uh, he actually, they might, the, the hat is proxied. Oh, it's unproxied. They, oh, it's proxied. Oh my God, it nearly, they're nearly allowed to spawn. They're pushing. Bronco, Baker, and Mythic are have now proxied the Hab. Fieldmaster, nice. Oh, they did round up. Did he not see him? Marksman, doing marksman things. Finally knocks him out and the Hab should be up. No, it's still gone. It's still down. Oh my goodness. 11 tickets to 265. Double checking the hab. The hab is still proxy because you have enough people. It's a scaling proxy. Two players within 20 meters, three within 30, four within 40. You now have enough people. This infantry push, we said from early on, was able to hold off and let people just get revived and healed. Patience, 11 tickets to 265. If you are Russia right now, you do not do anything with your vehicles. Bronco Baker does finally go down. And 10 tickets left. Do not give up. You just have three Americans on the point. They are capturing it. And on screen, uh, real quick, I thought earlier the Spandrel was killed. Spandrel is a one-time use vehicle. That means this Spandrel, if it had died earlier in the match, it could not respawn. On screen has not died for what's the time now? An hour and 15 minutes with a Spandrel taking out massive amounts of vehicles, making huge plays, and Russia with 10 tickets to go. Looks like they might just barely pull it off unless something crazy happens and this BTR goes down. Is the Bradley up? The Matt V is up. Matt V, I mean, Matt V with the 50 cal could do something. Uh, this should be very careful. You need to be very careful. True Dove is 25% captured. Eric goes down. Rick and Morty is the only American left on the objective. And Zithiox might get him. He is. No, hold on. We still got one of them. Real Master Nice. The Lone Marksman. Nine tickets to 246. Nine tickets and he kills him. No way. That's a wipe. No, hold on. We still have a couple more right here. Ecstasy and Rex Leon, as well as uh, Cross Even. Nine tickets to 242. You have a fire team element for the Americans. Holding out an ecstasy and big text go full auto against full auto. Big text wins eight tickets to 241. It is 98% capped. Are they going to do it with eight tickets remaining? 
108. They do it. No way. One point to go. 107 tickets to 241. You see it overcomes or hear it overcomes. No way. What a play. Yeah, Airfield is now the last objective. And 241 tickets to 106. And that wraps up the top 10 infantry battles of 2023. Do you agree with the placements or have a favorite battle yourself? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.